The White House has thrown its support behind moves to ban the Chinese-owned video sharing app TikTok in the US. Finally, some good news. The White House is backing legislation to give the president power to ban tech companies like TikTok from operating in the United States. Sounds good to me. The fear is TikTok's Chinese-owned parent company ByteDance could funnel data from billions of users directly to the Chinese Communist Party. I see no problem at all. America's top intelligence chiefs were pressed on the issue today. Could they use TikTok to control data on millions of users? Uh, yes. Could they use it to control the software on millions of devices, given the opportunity to do so? Yes. In a statement, TikTok said... <laughs> Funny f For those that don't know, TikTok is a place where people with no talent get famous for doing things nearly anyone in the world can do at any given time. It's funny because he's fat. Maureen has asthma but isn't concerned. She's had five vaccine doses. Get the injections, you know, and keeps everybody safe. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have reportedly instructed their lawyers to investigate taking on one of the world's most popular and edgy cartoon series. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Where? You made me look stupid. I'm gonna sue you too. Well, fine. Go ahead and sue me. I will. I'll sue you in England. You are so sued, kid. Daniel Andrews has defended spending taxpayer dollars on focus groups during the pandemic. He insists it had everything to do with the rules and nothing to do with his popularity. It was not about getting the job done. It was about getting the popular. I'm sure the federal government did exactly the same thing.